And if you don't get a 2 drop by removing your Gormok, you can just coin in the 2 imp gang bosses. Yeah, turn 2 and turn 3. Yeah, and turn then three. follow up with the Gormok. Because you, you just know you're going to have a bunch of 1-1s one -ones off those. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're going to fight your board position. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to look at the Freeze Mage. I think it's I Freeze thought Mage. so. Yeah, Freeze Mage versus the uh, Zoo. So after Wisp of the Old Gods, Zoo actually has a higher win rate against Freeze Mage. One, because Freeze Mage doesn't have that much survivability anymore, but also Warlock is really good at rejuvenating back the board, like refilling back the board up with the Forbidden Ritual. So yeah, so this is actually a pretty close kind of match, I've, I believe. I, I really like the Freeze Mage's hand. It just completely shuts down every creature that comes out every turn. Mm -hmm. Like here, who goes Knife Juggler? You're just like, uh, Frostbolt? Pass. And then when Imp King Boss comes out, you're like, I don't really care about that. That's just yeah. two damage a turn. I'm just going to draw a bunch of cards and draw into my uh, mm -hmm. Doomsayers and clear that way. Mm -hmm. All right, Imp King Boss is going to be coming down as predicted on curve. So I, I would like to see Arcade oh. Intellect here. Yeah, there's one of the pieces. Where's my Doomsayer? Emperor's pretty good. That's like a good follow up, but he has oh. two turns before he even wants to bother playing the Doomsayer. Yeah. So he has multiple chances to get into it. I think you need to start rushing down the uh, Zoo player as fast as possible. Yeah, and also Jap Gisson is thinking of using, uh, playing the Brand this turn too. I actually wouldn't mind actually playing the Brand this turn. You can actually follow up the uh, Defender Argus a following turn just to push a lot of damage. Yeah, and it is an immediate threat against the uh, Mage player because. Has potential threat with like Argus and Abusive Sergeant do lots of damage, right? Like my so this Navin Engineer is going to be. It's Navin Engineer. It'd be pretty interesting. Oh, he actually Ooh. drew the lot, the loot order. Yeah. Like, okay, so what I, I kind of had problems with is that, like, okay, now Argus now, and then put the wolf into the one one, and then Imp Gang into the the two two, or you could actually just protect. Oh, he's gonna choose to go Brand. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna give that window where he could actually use the uh, lose the Dire Wolf Alpha to the hero power. Mm -hmm. well, it does. Uh, yeah. I don't see an ice block, or I would have developed that first, but ice bear is definitely not bad. Well, ice bear for this turn, yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't just heal you for eight; it allows you to kill off the the two one, which was basically dealing mm -hmm. four damage, not just the two damage, because mm -hmm. it pumped the two other creatures. So you're not just gaining eight; you're also preventing four. So you just saved yourself twelve points of damage next mm -hmm. turn, or over the next few turns. Mm -hmm. All right, we are seeing the Argus coming down. So this is gonna play a little bit around Flame Strike, but not definitely not too much. But at least the I'm brand lives, right? So I'm not even sure that deck runs. Uh, oh, Flame Strike! It doesn't run Flame, flame Strike. Strike. They That's they don't always run Flame Strike anymore. Interesting. So I guess they rely on something like double double. That uh, try to play uh, try to win the game off of like evolve, Bolt, mm -hmm. which is just give you give you a two extra spell power. So can, you could OTK your opponent. We can actually see a lot of damage coming from Jack Gibson here with the Gormok, with the uh, with the brand effect going to the face for eight, yeah, eight, and actually, then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's 16 points of damage. Dang, that was yeah. a lot. Of I wonder if he, or you can actually try removing this board. But I definitely like the, f uh, definitely like drawing first with the. Uh, okay, developing Ice Bear yeah. is actually not bad too. It does. Yeah, he's it does kill the brand now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's getting really close to just killing his opponent. Like, I, I wonder if he could have just drawn first to see. No. Yeah. Why another turn? He has the Frostbolt too. Wait, could he actually? Okay, so it costs uh, five, eight damage mm -hmm. yeah, with he, the current hand. Yeah, he with the needed eight mana, so this is actually lethal. LOL at Bran. They can't even discard four cards. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, he so knew there was no way he was dying here. that turn. Yeah. yeah, he has lethal in hand. Yeah. He has 23. Yeah. What? 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 Don't play the Alexstrasza. You have lethal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he probably just recounted. He's like, oh, wait a minute. Those two Ice Lances are free, and these Fireballs only cost three mana. <laughs> I just happen to have exactly 23 damage in hand. All right. Freeze Mage making a pretty good comeback. Like, although it's not as strong as before, but definitely showing its power and still being played viably. Like, I would probably only play this kind of deck in like a Conquest of Band format just so I can remove the um, classes that are bad.